back a 4-1 defeat against Gateshead. Very poor performance really from the boys, wasn't it? Yeah, it's like one step forward, two steps back at the moment. We can't get no consistency in our game. Um, obviously, we've had a look at Gateshead and the way they play, and, and, and they play some good stuff. We didn't really deal with any of their um, good play. In fact, we let ourselves down in the first half, and that's just where the damage was done. But it's a learning curve. It's going to be a learning curve, and we're going to have to pick ourselves up and go again. I think defensively, like I say, can we explain what, say, what sort of happened in the back a little bit? Like I just said here, it's a learning curve. It's one step forward, two steps back at the moment. You know, combinations and, and, and partnerships are not working. And we'll have to keep working hard to turn it around because we can see that we can win games and we know how to win. But when it goes wrong, it sometimes goes badly wrong. And today was one of them days where it went badly wrong. Mm. We didn't deal with it in the first half and the damage was done. I think as well, you probably knew what to expect from Gates. They'd like to play the ball on the ground. You know, they played it from the back quite it a lot. No, yeah, no, no, it wasn't even that. It's just that, you know, it's, it's one long ball for the first goal over two centre-backs. They didn't deal with it. And George Fowler, I don't know, he should have just cleared his line there and he just take too many touches and they scored. That's killed us, really. And then we're trying to push, but, you know, give, give them credit. They were better than us on the day, but like I said, it's one step forward, two steps back at the moment, but it's not going to be like that all the time and it's a learning curve and we'll have to learn quick. Does it really, does it really concern you, though, the fact the amount of chance that they were able to create, though, because it could have easily been more, couldn't it? Could, possibly, but I'm not going to overdwell on it because I don't think that's the right thing to do. The right thing for me to do now is just... Make sure we're coming and we work hard, which we will. But, you know, I've been in this position before, and no doubt I'm going to be in this position again. But, you know, these, these bunch of boys are honest to a degree. And I think sometimes we have to take the responsibility away from them for a little while and go again. But listen, it's one of them days. I know you mentioned previous interviews about still looking to bring players yeah, for in. Sure, today, for does sure. that motivate you more to get a few more? No, in? no, I, I hadn't stopped. It's just that I couldn't get the ones that I wanted to get in. Um, and we'll pursue that again this week and we'll go from there. Well, you've got a tough, tough task with next week. Solly Hole Moore's coming down. It's going to be, you know, every maybe game, tougher every, than this no, one. No, every game's tough. Every game at this level is tough. Listen, I've won this league as a coach. I've got relegated from this league as a coach and I've won this league twice as a player. So I know, I know how um, difficult it is at times. Put a squad together that I think can challenge, you know. But like I said, it's going to be a learning curve for some of them, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep working on.